Hello, everyone, and welcome this week to Parashat Vayechi. As is well known, there are two parashiyot in the Torah that have the word life in their title, but don't actually deal with life, but rather death. Chaye Sarah, which actually deals with Sarah's death, her burial, and every event that took place after that. This week's parasha, Vayechi, also by its title, talks like in talking about perhaps life, yet it really is the end of Yaakov's life, and not only Yaakov, but also the end of the entire generation that we've come to know in the last few weeks of the parashiot. The question obviously is, why would such a title of a parasha dealing with life end up really speaking about death? The answer is really the question, because it's not talking about death. Because when a person physically dies, they are still in existence in a different way. We know that we have two parts. We have a goof, a physical body. We have a nishama. We have a spiritual existence as well. When the goof ceases to exist, and the person dies and the body is buried, the nishama continues to exist. It's divine. It's eternal. And we know that just like we pass our DNA on to our children and so on to future generations, so too we pass along our spiritual DNA through our nishama to future generations. What we do in this world has impact in future generations. So that while a person may pass away, it may be vayichi, it may be chaye sara, nevertheless, they're still in existence. They still live on through the actions, through the deeds, the lessons that they left behind them. Shabbat Shalom to all.